gas prices are expected to be a hot topic in the new year, especially on the presidential campaign trail. Yeah, Fox's Madeline Rivera is in Washington with what the Biden administration is doing. With more than 115 million motorists expected on the roads this holiday season from December 23rd through January 1st, many travelers have been eyeing the price of gas. Coming up here, it's, it's cheaper. I've seen it about 50 cents cheaper than the last time I came up here. Earlier this month, the national average for a gallon of gas fell to a 2023 low of $3.06 per gallon, only to rebound to $3.13 this week, a trend the Biden administration is watching closely heading into 2024. They're laser focused on gasoline prices, and I think they're going to be laser focused on gasoline prices in battleground states, places like Arizona, maybe Colorado, Nevada or whatever. The debate over gas prices dependent on oil barrel prices and a variety of factors tied to climate and foreign affairs comes as the Department of Energy announced Tuesday it is purchasing 3 million barrels of oil to replenish its strategic petroleum reserve. Last year, the Biden administration sold 180 million barrels to help control oil prices after Russia, a large crude exporter, invaded Ukraine. On the campaign trail, Republican candidate Vivek Ramaswamy echoed former President Trump's push for energy independence, urging for more drilling. Yes, we will fight our national debt with a clear deliverable plan, selling oil and gas that are underneath our own ground to instantly buy down $7 trillion of our national debt. We have that under control without touching Social Security benefits other than for the next generation to actually increase them. Gas prices haven't seen a relatively normal year in a while between the pandemic, Ukraine invasion, and war in the Middle East. But experts say it is possible we could start to see more stability in the new year. In Washington, Matt Rivera, Fox 26 News.